Tabasi Talk A five seven six. Um, I want to comment on the Floyd Mayweather, um, Adrian Broner situation a little bit further. Um, I know um, when Adrian Broner first came out, and I, I seen him on, and I seen him on HBO. I think I seen him against Ponce De Leon, and I thought he was a pretty good fighter. I thought he was a pretty, you know, decent fighter. I, I seen some things that I, you know, what I'm saying that I liked. I always said that he was kind of too flat-footed for me. Paul Stelion gave him some trouble by moving around. And I thought he was a little bit too flat-footed for me. But I said maybe, you know, uh, you know, he's just trying to, you know, get a knockout, you know. And uh, usually a lot of guys like to be flat-footed and try to get knockouts. But as his career started going along, I started seeing that uh, he was naturally a flat-footed fighter. Um, but... I started seeing him alliance himself with Floyd Mayweather. Uh, he was uh, saying that he's the next Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Floyd Mayweather started doing interviews with Adrian Broner and um, talking about Adrian Broner doing interviews and saying that how um, he liked Adrian Broner and um, Adrian Broner got a lot of potential. And um, I really, I mean, he was, he, he was calling um, Adrian Broner his little brother and Adrian Broner was calling Floyd Mayweather his big brother. And, to me, I never really, I never really liked the fact, I mean, it was okay in the beginning that I guess that they was in, uh, you know, in alliance with each other, but my whole thing is getting into the fight business and knowing that Mayweather is at the top of the division and you're not that far away from being a potential to fight him, because I think at the time he fought Paul De Leon think he had already had 20 wins or something like that so he was you know potentially he had a chance to compete and fight some fighters to get himself in a position to fight Mayweather I don't know if he would have been able to fight Mayweather but that's why I didn't like the whole thing about him you know uh, putting in the, putting himself next to Floyd but I guess him and because him and out because they both are with Al Heyman, I kind of figured that it was probably a thing that was when Floyd retired, you know, uh, that Adrian Brown was going to take over. I think that was the whole concept of it. And if that was the whole concept of, concept of it, then I get it, you know, that they uh, that he was calling him his little brother. He was calling Floyd Mayweather his big brother. But um, and then Adrian Broner started taking little subtle shots at Floyd Mayweather saying that, I don't fight like the young Mayweather. I fight how Mayweather fight right now. I'm better at I'm better at 20, 23. I think at the time he was 23. I'm better at 23 than Mayweather was at 23. And and I and I have to say, no, you was not. You was not better at than Mayweather. At, you was not better than Mayweather at no age, as a matter of fact. You was not better than Mayweather at 23. When Mayweather was 20 was at 23. It's just no comparison. Mayweather was just about the total package at 23, and especially when he was fighting at the lower weight classes, when he was displaying uh, power at the low, lower weight classes. So Mayweather had everything. He had the foot movement, the head movement, the uh, the defense. He had power at that uh, stage because it was a lower weight class. And um, no, you, you was not, you know, on par with Mayweather. No, you was not on par with Mayweather when Mayweather was 23. And... Uh, Mayweather started taking little subtle shots at uh, Broner, saying, "Have you ever seen Mr. Have you ever seen um, Daniel Son fight Mr. Miyagi?" And then it, they started. It was taking little subtle shots. I, I guess it was kind of playful at first, but then you had the situation to where Broner went up and fought Paul Manaji for the 147 pound um, title, and it was a really close fight. That was supposed to have been Broner's Gotti moment. See. When Mayweather fought Gotti and how he destroyed Gotti, that's how Broner was supposed to look against Paul Manaji. That was that was the plan to turn him into a pay per view, you know, have his first pay per view fight after that. But it was a close fight. Everybody knew it was a close fight. Some people had Paulie winning. I had Broner slightly winning because I thought Broner, because of his power, he displayed and hitting um and hitting um Paul Manaji with harder shots. I, I gave the fight to to Broner by one or two rounds. But that fight right there, Mayweather came out and had some criticism about Broner, which I thought was some was a good critique of Broner 
and he was giving Broner some good critique and um, Broner really didn't like it. You know, then here come the Maidana fight. I was hearing whispers that uh, hit, uh, Broner camp did not want him to fight Maidana, but he took the Maidana fight anyway. He fought Maidana, lost. Floyd came out and said, stop picking your opponents. Let your manager management team or let Al Heyman pick your opponents. And, you know, little subtle shots was being taken in. And then you start seeing the, the, the house kind of crumble. I never thought their relationship was authentic anyway. I did, I never thought Mayweather liked Adrian Broner that much. I just think Mayweather was doing it because Al Heyman wanted him to kind, kind of be uh, Broner's mentor. And I don't think Mayweather really liked Adrian Broner because he's seen how Adrian Broner re really just wanted the glitz and glamour and didn't want to work hard for it. Because one thing I can say about Mayweather, he got the glitz and ga glamour, but he worked damn hard for the glitz and glamour. He didn't do it the other way around. He didn't want the glitz and glamour and didn't want to work hard. He actually worked hard for it. And he was trying to get tell Adrian Broner, you have to work hard for the glitz and glamour. Don't just look at me on TV and look at me flashing money. <clears throat> I worked hard for that. And don't look at me in the club because I don't party. I just go in the club for, he just go in the club for, I guess, appearances or whatever, but he don't drink. So he was trying to give Adrian Broner some words of wisdom. Adrian Broner wasn't listening. And they had a couple uh, instances on um, when they had interviews and they was talking back, back and forth uh, around about each other. And Mayweather, uh, after, I guess after uh, Broner beat uh, Kellev Alabiv, he was saying that I don't know how Adrian Broner can call himself a four-time world champion. And then that's when Adrian Broner got really sentimental. And to me, the relationship was, whatever relationship they had was over then. Because it was some words that were said that you just can't take back. But they, I guess they tried to play it off. But then recently, you know, Mayweather uh, came out of interviews and told and said that uh, he don't know if Adrian Broner trying to be a gangster. He's a problem. He's... He's always getting in trouble. And then Broner came out with an interview saying, Floyd, you did the same thing I did. Uh, I know uh, Adrian Broner had a thing where he threw up money in Walmart. And Mayweather, and, um, I guess Adrian Broner said, Mayweather, you you did the same. You burnt money or something like that. But what, I'm, what I want to say is that if even though Mayweather did some wrong things, he was trying to tell Broner the things not to do. And what Broner was trying to say was, you did it so I can do it. But see, I think Broner had it wrong. When somebody tell you what, when they went, when somebody went through some downfalls and they tell you not, and they tell you things so you won't have to go through the same downfall that they went through. If you come back and say, you did it too, I can do it. That's not, that's not a, a reasonable uh, thing to say, because even though they did it, they trying to not let you go down the same path. And I think Broner... Now could have now Mayweather did say some things that I didn't I didn't agree with in the in the um video airing out all you know some some stuff. I thought if they were really close, now this is the test. If they was really close, Mayweather could have called Broner on the phone and did it instead of doing it in public. If they was if they was really close, Broner, when he have his uh issues, he will call Mayweather instead of doing it in person. So that tells me that they really didn't have no friendship. It really was no big brother, little brother anyway, because you don't do that to your, you know, your big brother, your little brother. You don't come out in public and air all out, uh, air all his business out in public. You will call him on the phone. But then that's what real men do. And that led up to what Broner did at his post, uh, at his, after his fight against Assey Theofane, when he called out Mayweather because he was trying to tell Mayweather, you could have called me on the phone like a real man man to man and could have told me that stuff on the phone instead of doing an interview about me. Now that's when I agree with Broner. If you my so-called big bro, I want you to call me on the phone. I don't want you to air air my my um my business out or talk about me bad about me in public because that make me look bad. So I can understand why Broner said you got to see me. So uh should the fight happen? I don't know if the fight should happen. Um I, I don't I don't believe Mayweather will fight Broner. He may fight Broner, but he said Broner will have to be somebody significant like Earl Spence or Sean Pro Porter or Terrence Crawford, which I don't think well, he already lost. He already lost to Sean Porter. So the rematch, I don't think I think maybe it could be different if Broner come in with a different approach, but I don't see him beating um, 
uh, Terrence Crawford. Definitely don't see him beat Terrence Crawford. And I and and then Errol Spence fight is up in the air. So, you know, uh, I don't know if they should fight or not. But like I said, they I, I don't think I, I I never thought from the beginning that their relationship was authentic. Just like Fifty Cent and, and Mayweather, I never thought they their relationship was authentic. I always thought it was some phoniness in there, and I can spot phoniness a, a mile away. And I knew that the Mayweather Broner um, situation was not authentic. But this is why I saw A576. I'm out.